I don't think that does anything, but we feel good when we do it. What? Touch the microphone? I adjusted. I'm good. Mine I was the moving knob. up and down. Uh, uh, oh, oh. Yeah, it's good. It's good? I tested it. How did you test My it? My jawbone. Okay. <laughs> All right. That's how I listen. Hi, everyone. I'm Sheena, and we are back with another episode of Sheena Interrupted. Hello. <laughs> Hello. How are you? Who are you today? Dirt. Dirt. Backwards. Oh, <laughs> it's true. Yes, because I'm the opposite of dirty. I'm super clean. That's cool. I didn't. You're dirty. Why am I dirty? You inas in it. <laughs> it's not pain inas. inas. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you are in it. It's not inas. <laughs> You're pain inas. How long have you been holding on to I that just joke? Came up with do it not on lie. The spot. You did not make I that. I did. Up. <laughs> in it in it in it i'm trid this is my coho she's a pain in us in it <laughs> welcome back sheena and trid dirt in us <laughs> this episode is brought to you by Charmin. <laughs> what are we talking about today i wanted to when tell you get nervous yeah like how you're sweating now i'm not sweating mom spaghetti <laughs> huh? Yeah. I wanted are your palms to tell sweaty? my palms are not sweaty right now. So tell, tell. Last Friday, I got to sing the anthem at the Celtics game at TD Garden. Who did they play? Amazing. They played the Mavericks. It was awesome to watch the players, but it was amazing to be able to share that cool experience with you guys and with the kids and with. Um, all of our friends in the social space because I know you went live. So I got many questions. What were the questions? What deodorant does she use before such performances? Does she double sweat? Nobody asked about my deodorant, right? They did. Nobody asked about my deodorant. They want to know. Which deodorant I no, use? No, they want to know how you deal with 40,000 people looking at you while you're trying to sing one of the hardest songs to sing a cappella. I think that was more the question. I tried to condense it to what deodorant do you use? So here's a couple of things I wanted to share. There have been really, really cool opportunities in the past where I've had the privilege of singing for multi, like massive groups of people. Massive. I've sung at Gillette Stadium. I sang the anthem there. I've sung at TD Garden. I've sung at the um, Fenway Park for the Red Sox. And a lot of people is a lot of people. It always feels like a lot of people. Gillette is like 70,000 people. I know. People. I think once you get to a certain number of people, it just feels like a lot of people. So I do get nervous. And singing a song like this is is really challenging because one, everybody knows how the song goes. They may not know word for word, but they know how the they song goes. They know when goes. you mess up. They yes. know when you've gone Roseanne Barr on the song. Yes. They... Have you ever done that? <laughs> Have I? Yeah. No. Have you ever thought about messing up? No. You don't want to mess up once just to... Absolutely not. To you become can go a, viral. No, no. I'm not interested in going viral that way. You don't want to like just throw in a Canadian verse in a the middle? A person sing it that in messes French? up the anthem is yeah. known for the rest of their life as the person that messed up the anthem. I think it's called Roseanne Barring the anthem. <laughs> I'm not interested in Roseanne it could Barring be called, anything. Hey, Shishina Malwani, the anthem. No, I want that to be a good thing. I don't want it mm. to be a bad thing. Okay, just a thought so for you to consider. The first time I sang the anthem... Somebody actually told me right before I sang it that the girl who sang the day before messed up the words, so don't do it. And I was like, why are you telling me this? Like, don't mess up? Why Why would you say that? That was probably the most nerve-wracking experience, like the most nerve-wracking. So if someone hypothetically did. wanted you to Roseanne bar the anthem, they should remind you do not. that people have done it before? No, no, now like, I have the confidence that I can do it. What if you're sleeping and I played the Roseanne bar version? <laughs> Beside your head. Do you it's think that joke. might help? No. <laughs> that wouldn't help? No. Don't do that. Okay. It's already a challenge. Like it already spans multiple octaves. It spans multiple, you know, just Why is it such a complicated levels. song? Because it starts really low. It goes really high. It starts at the bottom of my register. It hits the top of my register. Do you think that's why people bring their guitars and stuff when Possibly. they do it? Possibly. Some people bring their pitch pipes. Why don't you have a pitch pipe? Because I have this trick where I know that it starts at the lowest comfortable possible range for me. The craziest part is there's music and there's noise all around me. So the entire time before I start, I'm like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, This mm -hmm, is the only mm -hmm, time it's good mm -hmm, to have multiple mm -hmm. personalities. What do you mean? 
Like the person in your head can sing the song while the other person does other things. No, I can't think of anything else. I literally have to not. I told the guy who was standing beside me. I'm like, Shh, don't talk to me, please. And I kept humming. Mm, 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 mm. Why? So that I know. Oh, say. Then I know that I'm in the right spot. Because if I go lower. Oh, say. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Exactly. So you should I, try that next time. No, I don't want to do that next time because I want the, I want the sound to come out really strong. Hmm. So that's but how then I do no it. one it's not as memorable. It's I nice. Don't. Listen, we, we're going for memorability in terms of like a positive thing, hmm. not memorability in terms of a negative thing. Okay, I will be more serious for a second. Yeah. Do you have access to that message you told me that gentleman sent you who was retiring from the Navy, perhaps? I think he was in the Army. In the Army? He's retiring from the Army? I think he DM'd it to me. So can you get it? Uh, this is a good time to say goodbye to my friend. Which friend? Who I see right now. Which friend? Player number two. This in one? your mouth, yeah. Yeah, say bye to him. He's going soon. For those of you who are listening and not watching on youtube i guess we could let the secret out now sheena's two front teeth got, had it got into a fight many years ago and <laughs> since then one of them has slightly moved away from the other <laughs> and they have finally decided to reconcile no um, i have decided she's to make decided them to friends. make to force them to make up so yes. i'm gonna miss my friends so when you go and you see now when she's smiling when she closes her mouth once in a while you'll see just one, one tooth little out. tooth sticking out i've learned to refer to that tooth as my friend what's his and real my name? friend is leaving in other words i am having a treatment done to fix my teeth okay i found the message okay so this gentleman sent me a message saturday after I sang the anthem and he said he was at the game uh I don't know that he was at the or he game. saw the live he stream. saw the live stream and he sent me a message that Friday night and he said you have by far the best national anthem I have ever heard I have been in the Navy for almost 22 years now and I have heard so many national anthems but yours is truly amazing and you feel it all the way down to your core. I'm retiring next year in San Diego so if you're interested in coming down and singing the national anthem for it I humbly invite you to my retirement ceremony. He's served for a long time. So he's heard a lot of anthems. I just found that to be one of the most touching. No, it's just he's you know what if you're gonna sometimes once in a while you get a message Sometimes you shoot for the stars. You just send a message and it works out. Mm -hmm. So maybe we should try to go. I think that would be really nice. Let's see if someone who listens to this finds this man. Okay. And then let's see what happens. But I would see if somebody hears this and sends it to him. But they don't know who it is. What's his name? Say I'm his not name. telling you his name. Why? Because what if he wants privacy? As long as his name isn't like Gulamun. <laughs> like there's one guy. <laughs> name be Gulamun. who knows because his parents like gulab jamun <laughs> no. you're not gonna give it away i might give it away his name is you're gonna say like rob like i think you're safe not everyone's gonna message every rob they know saying hey is this you his name is david david I'm not oh my god last there we go i'm not gonna give if you, you know name. a david chances are it's not him so don't send this to david <laughs> If you know a David what in the Navy, all their David chances friends? are it's also not him. <laughs> There's at least three Davids in every group. If your friend is David in the Navy and retiring and in San Diego. After 22 years. After 22 years, one in 10 chance it's him. Send it to him. Yeah. And we'll if David, you if you do end up hearing this message, I just want you to know that it was extremely touching. And I want you to know that we thank you for your service. Okay, so I wanted to share these few experiences and the things that we that I do, the things that I try to avoid and um, tell you some of like the stressful things that happen and the not so stressful things. And then I thought we could talk about like how we each deal with stress in our own ways. So the story is, I think that I think that what people don't realize is that we just try to keep it as casual and calm as possible. I'm one of those people I don't like big highs and big lows. So I try to keep it as level as possible. Like some of my routines are just 
to, to do all the things as normal. Like I don't want to focus all my energy on the fact that, oh my God, I'm going to sing. Oh my God, I'm going to sing. Oh my God, I'm going to sing. Do you think people get that impression from us? I don't know, but people often wonder like, is that stressful? Is that, you know, do you get super excited? Do you have these like super nervous moments? And I think I try to keep everything level by keeping everything the same. So I'll, I do my hair and my makeup quietly in the sink however I normally do it. I don't do anything different. Like our kids were with us and they were we were playing games. Like I think that's part of the fun too of keeping it really light and keeping everything the same so that it doesn't feel like there's this humongous crazy thing happening. And I think that helps me. One thing that I have noticed is that about 30 minutes before the anthem itself. You have to take a poop. <laughs> no. You don't? No. Doesn't help? No. I don't nervous poop. I nervous pee. Um, but Is that when, a thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of people have that, I think. Because I, when I've told people, they say, yeah, yeah, that happens to us too. A nervous pee. I'm a nervous peer. That's I, that's a thing? I think it's a thing. Can people put in the comments if you know what Raise your hand if you're about? also a nervous peer. Oh, I forgot to say. What? Thank you for listening to the number one podcast you're listening to right now. Thank you so much. So the one thing that I will say, and I think you've understood, there's like a look in my eyes that all of a sudden you're like, okay, everyone, we're going to leave the room. Like you'll take the kids out. Yeah, it's just if you want to be alone, you can be alone. Yeah, I do. I like take them to... out even on Saturday sometimes. It's not only when you sing the anthem. Uh, no, I think in particular when I'm doing stuff like this. I, I appreciate the credit you're giving me as part of the process. That's kind of you. Well, I mean, I remember looking at you and you're like, okay, guys, let's go find some food. <laughs> I was hungry. Okay. And it's convenient. Okay. The thing that I realized that I do not like is like the clutter and the mess in that space. And I've realized that, are you yawning? I yawned, but I kept my mouth closed so the camera wouldn't identify it. And then you ratted me That's out. That's really rude. What? You're yawning at my story. I'm not yawning at your story. I'm yawning at the fact that I slept a few hours and you woke me up to take those two kids who will never know how to play the cello <laughs> to school with their cellos, if you must know. Okay. So that's why I'm yawning. I had a meeting this I would morning. Have been there asleep was nothing I could have done. If it wasn't for that. <laughs> okay. So that's why I'm yawning. Okay. So the thing that I realized that I am very familiar with that happens and I do not like is the amount of popcorn <laughs> that ends up on the floor this of our always dressing give you room. Popcorn. They always give you popcorn and our kids always go nuts. Well, one kid in particular he always goes nuts when he sees the popcorn and he drops popcorn everywhere yeah. and it drives me insane. So he's not invited next time. No, he's invited. We just need to keep no the popcorn, popcorn at bay <laughs> because he knocked over one thing of popcorn. Then when he wasn't looking, he knocked over another thing of popcorn. It was like... There's a lot of popcorn. It looked like the bottom of a movie be, theater at the end of the night. You may not be invited back because of your popcorn behavior. No, no, I made them pick it up. And then what happened when it was done? The popcorn? The singing. The most amazing thing happened. The sweetest, sweetest thing was actually walking through the crowd of people and having them high five me and fist bump me and telling me thank you for singing such a beautiful anthem. Remember those people that were yeah. clapping? That was really and they, nice. And they won. They won. The Celtics? Celtics yes, won. the Celtics won. And you have a random streak going. Yes, I with do. With the Celtics. I do. And remember last week we told you about Patrice Bergeron? Yes. Tell them about this story with the Celtics. So the first time I sang the anthem was a few years ago. And I, while I was standing, I had done my mic check, I think. And a gentleman walked up to me. He comes up to me and he says, that was amazing. And I was like, oh, that's so nice. Thank you so much. And you were live. Remember, yeah. you were live streaming. And I heard you saying, this woman has no idea who she's talking to. She's literally talking to a legend. Yes. And she has no clue who it is. And it turns out it was Paul Pierce. So we pointed up to the rafters and said, oh, see that? <laughs> yeah, 34? <laughs> that's him. That's this guy <laughs> who you're casually chatting with. And I was, and he was so nice. And they won. And they won. And then the next Let's time I went back and I sang for the playoffs, he was there again. He saw me, he remembered me, and he came up to me and he said, oh, if you're singing, we're going to win. And I said, well, if you're here, we're going to win. And, and so, they won. And they won. 
And that that was the beginning of a beautiful I think there friendship. Have been three, there have been three times. I can't remember the other game, but there have been three. Oh, the Lakers game. The Lakers game. They also won. Yep. So now they have this little joke that if they're both there, they're gonna so he's a little side joke with Paul Pierce. Yep, so you can go Paul look Pierce. on their Instagram. They talk to each other like, oh, yeah, yo, you're going to the game. I'm going perfect. Oh, we can't <laughs> lose. Perfect. See you in the playoffs. So this is just one of those things for me that when I, um, I'm nervous up until the point that I have to start singing. And then once I start singing, the energy in the room just fuels me so magically. And there are moments in my life where I get really stressed out and I don't handle it in the best way. But I really, really, really do think that this is the best way that I can manage my stress and anxiety in these particular moments of performance. And I... What if you just sang everywhere you were stressed? Just started singing? Yeah, like a musical. Like imagine the kids tomorrow morning did something that annoyed you. Can't you just sing about it instead of... Yell at them? <laughs> no. Like, yeah, just sing. How would you sing about it? I don't know. Try to sing a song about... Get your crap in your bag and get out the no, door. The bus is coming in five minutes. <laughs> no, just no. It might feel better. It's not a performance like this. I the reason I like performing is because I feel like that's my purpose and I feel like that's my way of connecting with people. And I love that. I love that I get to do things like that. So I I think and I think that that's what I'm really good at. So when I have these opportunities, I like to keep all that energy kind of contained so that when I go out there, it can just explode out of me. That energy just comes right out and it comes out in the best possible way. So what do you do when you're stressed? I nervous poop. <laughs> you let it all out from the anus. <laughs> you do? No. But you what? nervous pee. What's already you taken. <laughs> what do you do when you're stressed out? When or do you not get stressed out? I think everyone gets stressed out. Yeah, so what do you do? How do you handle your Whatever stress? Whatever I and do in that day anyways, I do the same thing. You, it doesn't affect your I just your do behavior? it with uh, less enjoyment. And then I go to sleep and I wake up and I feel better. What happens if you have to make like a big presentation in front of people? You have to give a speech, you have to I don't know, talk about a big something at work. I go to the bathroom and I do Mew, 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 mew. I do. <laughs> mew, 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 mew. Because you don't want to sound like you haven't been practicing your mew, mews. Okay. <laughs> I learned that from you. I don't do mew, mew, mew. Yeah, you do. No, I what do. What do you do before you sing? <laughs> Not that, the other one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> then? Yo, yo, yo. Then keep going. You, you, you. Yeah, it's coming. No, it's not. I don't mew mew. Yeah, well, that's my letter. You use the Ys, I use the Ms. You should try mine. You might hit a new level of performance. Okay. And then I go so, do the presentation. No, can you be serious for I one really second? don't have a system. You don't like... I don't try to contain my inward. life forces and <laughs> go and... And like start singing in the middle of the conference room. Because singing is not your thing. No. But you're really good at public speaking. Yeah. I so just, what do you do when you have to public speak? I'm doing it right now. You just sit there you quietly and you just talk? Yeah, I say what I have to say. Say what you need to say. And say sit down. what you need to say. Yeah, that's what I wish you did. Just sing say every time you you're frustrated. That's what I do. I don't have a system. You don't? I'm not a performer. I have I this. do everything ad lib. I, I know, but... <laughs> I understand that, but I think that a lot of people have like different things, different tools that they they I find. I cluck like in a their... chicken three times. You're lying. Yeah, it helps. This is not it's a, true. It's the juxtaposition of the mew mew of the cat with the buck buck of the chicken. Then you just feel like whatever you're doing is not that important. But I really do feel like what I'm doing in that moment is really important. Me too. There's a lot of people that come to that game. Wanting to hear a really nice anthem before they jump into the game. There are like, si like six or seven people that came to my last presentation. <laughs> and like only four signed up. It was spreading. People were like, oh man, that's happening. Okay. There's no what stress. What about like a big hockey game? Mm -hmm. Do you feel nervous before a hockey game? No, I game? haven't played in 30 years. Um, what about... What about... What Do you feel nervous for me? Oh, I feel nervous when you're driving. <laughs> I just hold things. That... That's not when I'm nervous. I just hold like this. Okay. How do you handle your stress? I hand with the handle. <laughs> Literally, I just hold the handle. That's your biggest source and, and of stress. And I just stress. turn like this sideways. Wait, <laughs> and I just hope I don't get rear-ended and I don't do rear-ending. <laughs> is that your biggest source of stress in your life? When Depends on the speed. Yeah. Norm in the winter, for sure. <laughs> 
We've discussed this already with the people. You don't understand that the road conditions I require you to slow down. You're like, I'm still going to go 70. <laughs> road is slippery. That's the road's problem. That's not I'll true. I'll swerve left and right. I'll message someone and say, you better take over because at 70, this road is a challenge. I am a fabulous like, hey, do you driver. Wanna try going Listen. 50? What, are you crazy? It's a highway. Must go 70. You'll get shot if you You're go slower. You're giving people the wrong impression. I am yeah. a great driver. Uh-huh. I have not had an accident in a really, really long, long time. time. Long I agree. time. I agree. So then what's the problem? Because I, if I'm not there, yeah. no one will be there going, oh, <laughs> God, please, please slow down. Stress <laughs> is one of those things that I don't really, you, we've talked about this. Okay. You have a better gauge of your stress meter. Yes. I don't have that. No. I don't think I ever develop the skills to know when I'm feeling stressed or not because it was irrelevant. I think you'll know after the fact that you were stressed. Some people like you are better <laughs> at knowing when they're under stress. Okay. I think... I don't think there's a compliment Other people here. like me... Yes. No, I think it's good to know. Other but it's people also like me good may to not handle know. it well. Are you, this, are you presuming that I also handle it well? No, I didn't say that. <laughs> I think I do in certain situations. Yeah, that's like when you're singing. Yes. When... And others. I'm stressed. And others. I don't recognize I'm stressed as quickly as you would recognize that you're stressed. Okay. But I think part of that is just because, and I don't think this is a good thing or a bad thing. Mm -hmm. I don't think I've ever thought about a stressful situation as one that would change if I gave it the credit of being a stressful oh, situation i disagree one I agree. thousand so that's, percent i so that's why i started with some people yes have one view and some people have another yes i have the completely so, yeah. opposite so you view. are a lot more aware yes and then you engage with the situation differently once you're aware that yes. you think it's stressful or not or mild yes i don't think i engage with the situation any differently irrespective of whether or not I coin it to be stressful or not. So what I end up doing is dealing with the situation. Yeah. And then later I might in retrospect say, oh, that was stressful. Maybe that was stressful. Maybe it wasn't. Hmm. But I don't, that doesn't come first in my head. Hmm. I wonder if you, if you actually did acknowledge that it was stressful beforehand, if that would change your behavior. I don't operate from a position of, there's little choice in my head with most of these things. Yeah, I agree with like, that. I have to go do it. Yes. I have to deal with it. So I deal with it. A hundred percent. And I don't stop to check whether or not it's impacting me from a stressful way or not. And I think that because I am, that's the way I address these things. Mm -hmm. I think I've somehow naturally reduced the amount of stress mm -hmm. by not by almost acknowledging that I can't do anything about it, which actually may not even be true. I actually but I think do. That's the so way for I'm, me, I I'm acknowledge wired. it. I think it's really important to see that there is a moment here that could potentially result in stress. And then I do things to remove those factors that will activate or aggravate the stress. Yeah. So if it's getting the kids to take their popcorn outside or if it's, Spending 30 minutes doing my blueberries or raspberries, whatever they're called. They're raspberries. Doing what is that? You eat fruit? Oh, they're that, called raspberries. That helps you with stress? Yeah, because it just makes me focus on the things that I can control, which are making sure that I'm warmed up, which are going through the lyrics of the anthem one but more time. This is time, for singing. Or... Forget singing. If you're sitting in traffic and it's stressing out, you just do boo, 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 boo. No, but if I acknowledge that this is a stressful situation. Why do you keep doing this with your hand? Because sometimes I put the... It looks like someone's vomited in your <laughs> no. hand. That's a good analogy, though. Like yeah. when a kid pukes in your hand, you <laughs> no. hold it. And then what do you do? No, I see the stress. Like I put that stressful There's nothing situation. There. I pretend that there is something there. What does it look like? It looks like just a black little cloud. Like a dirt like cloud. In, uh, like Charlie Brown? The yeah, cloud, yeah, like yeah. The like dirt? Charlie Brown. Wow. So you, you so took I'll... Lucas's dirt. And you put it in your yeah, hand. Yeah, and I put it in my hand. And I'm like, okay, this is what I'm feeling right now. Here what is do you the do stress. I put it down. Or I do something to overcome it. Where Maybe do you put it? Back in your car? No, I put now it. You have so much dirt in your car. I take it out of me. It leaves my body and it goes somewhere else. It's not my problem. Can you open the window and throw <laughs> okay. it out? How do you do? do you... <laughs> <laughs> no. 
Like, how do you remove it from your body? You burp it? No, I just... Cough it? I just put it right here. But from inside, how did you take it out? How do you know you got it all? So this is a trick that you... You just will... imagine it. Yes, you just hold it. Can you be more thorough? No. Can you re... can you at least like put one finger in your mouth and go... Ugh. <laughs> like pretend... Yeah, pull it out. Like, you know those people with those... What are those, those clowns with the... <laughs> With the, the, with the tissue? Yeah, that silk <laughs> handkerchief. You want one of those? No. You should get one of those. No, it's Put just it a the side of your mouth. exercise. No, but imagine you made it real, how much <laughs> less stress you would feel. I'll buy you one. Like, Put it in your <laughs> cheek and just... And you start pulling all the things out of your mouth. Do you wash your hands after? <laughs> no. You don't? <laughs> you touch the filth inside your body. You throw it in your passenger seat. <laughs> And you don't even wash your hands. What is happening with you right I, You're now? asking me. I am simply shocked. Uh, by? The amount of stress that you put in your life. I'm You imagine it, it and you put it in your surroundings. I'm removing it. You it's don't. Called... Did you at least turn on the vacuum? Did you do something to kill it? Uh, no. You just I'm leave gonna it there. Try. You know, people have Open said the window, this. Throw it Hold out, on. At least. People have actually said this in the past to me that like if you're frustrated or angry or hurt about something, write it on a piece of toilet paper. The Why thing toilet that, paper? And then flush it. Okay. But you're not doing that. But I do it. Theoretically, it's like the same. You never flush it. No, you but I put it down. throw it in the down. car. I'm holding it and then I'm putting it down. It's in like a house. heavy vessel. And then I put the vessel down. And then you're going to so stub your toe on it later no if you don't way. eliminate it from your space, man. Okay. I'll work. That'll be step two. And is it, what do you do when you're feeling hungry? What do you mean? What color is the fake food you eat? What do you do? You do <laughs> anger, joy? What color is joy? I don't acknowledge joy, joy to put down. No, do you like, pick I it up and put it joy. inside? When I was singing, I was feeling joy. I was looking around and I was soaking it in. I want the joy in me. Why are you pointing at the ceiling? I wasn't pointing at the ceiling. At the end. Oh, that's just like a thing that I... Everybody likes when I do that, so I started doing it. It's you like become like the Statue like... of Liberty at the end? No, I don't become the Statue of Liberty. You want a book to take and a torch next time? <laughs> no. It'll be very telling for the song you're singing. It would be. You want to try? No. Maybe you could sing for the New York team, the WNBA. You know what the New York team is called? No. Liberty. Oh. So Liberty, you can go Liberty, with you. Liberty. Yes. The insurance company is what the <laughs> anthem is all about. I'm sure Liberty doesn't have their own like theme song. They have the Star Spangled Banner. Yeah, you maybe. Can go dress. If, if I sing for Liberty, I'll take a book and a torch. You will? No. I will work on that. I and I think I can make it happen. I will not. So that's it. That's all I got. So we talked about stress. Yep. And how you have a very interesting method to yep. deal with it. Yeah. Imagine you were in that movie where all those emotions run around. Yeah, Inside it's Out. Inside Out. Yeah. And you just took those people and you picked them up and you put them down beside <laughs> you. And you picked them up, you put it down. And you can be like, why is my leg on fire? Because the fire... Anus man is still sitting there. You didn't get rid of him. And if you wonder was, why people in your passenger seat are so mad. If he was burning inside of me. But you never even took him out. You're like, burp, 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 burp. <laughs> no. And then the next one comes. You're like, oh, are you joy? Are you happy? No, same. Your system. My system is great. It, it needs actually, some help. Tell them what you thought of how I performed the anthem. I think you did great. So my system is working. No, your singing is fantastic. So, I'm talking about when you're sitting system. in the car throwing <laughs> fake emotions in the passenger seat. That's your passengers system. are going to get hemorrhoids by going and sitting in your car with you. That's You're going for dinner with your friend tonight. Please make sure you vacuum the seat before she goes home and has a itch. I'm just saying this is the system I use to manage my stress around this particular situation. Mm -hmm. And if it? you have systems that you deploy to yeah. deal with your stress, Let can you know. please share with me? Hers is not going to work for me. My imagination is too vivid to imagine all my feelings have the same dirty brown look. And I leave them in the passenger seat. Oh my God. My OCD cannot manage that. I need more structure. If you have some tips for me, <laughs> please share in the comments. I think my system is actually tried, tested, and true. A lot you know, of I heard some other system. podcasts and they beg people to share their podcasts. Because if they're still here at this point in the podcast, please share this podcast wake with up. all your friends. Wake up. They fell asleep. <laughs> Get up. Let me wake them up first. Get up. Hello. And you know, like next week, they'll listen, they'll fall asleep and they'll play the next episode. So it's like you get a lot of sleepy people. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time. You know what I want to do at the end? What? Keep like one minute of silence and then put like a joke at the end. Can we do that? And see if people... Yeah, see who finds it. You know, Ed Sheeran once did that with one of his songs. Which he one? hid a song at the end of another song.
But how is that possible? It was like quiet for a minute or 45 seconds. And then there was another song there. And what was it? It was the parting blessing. How does it go? La, da, 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 da. It was like an Irish blessing. Da, 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 da. Who, who's it blessing? For all the money that Eri had. Who's Eri? It's an Irish blessing. So it's written in like old Irish text. So the song finished and it was just blank? Yeah, like it was amazing. Like an eight amazing. minute song? It was like seven minutes or six minutes. And three minutes, it's three over. Three minutes was the first part of the song. And then there was like 45 seconds to a minute of silence. Okay. And then all of a sudden, there's this like hidden song. It goes, For all the money that e'er I had. Da 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 da. Thank you for listening to the number one podcast that you're listening to right now. We are going to leave you with this tune from Ed Sheeran's Ancestry about Irad's money. Hope you enjoyed. Share this with a friend who has red hair. We love you.